Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's look, we are going to be doing another client makeup tutorial. Today I am showing you the wedding makeup that I'm going to be doing on Emily for her big day in October. She wanted more of a glam look, so we're going to be doing a little bit of a smoky eye. I will be using some black eyeshadow and also some really fun glitter. So first off, I like to start with the skin by applying some lip hydrator and then priming the skin with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. I love this primer because it gives such a beautiful glow, so I really only put this on the high points of the face, and then you can use something like the Benefit Professional through the T-Zone if they have larger pores. And then I'm taking some concealer to prep the lid. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is going to conceal any discoloration. Moving on to the eyes, for her transition shade, I'm actually going to use her bronzer that I'll be using on her face later in the video. This is a great trick if you just need a simple, easy transition shade, then just use your face bronzer. So I'm just buffing this onto the outer part of the eye as well as up into the crease. Next I'm picking up the shade Pooter from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Original Palette. I love this shade. I use it all the time because it's just a great brown. And I'm throwing this on the outer part of the eye and blending it up slightly, but we're not going to bring this up as high as our transition shade. Also the first brush I was using to blend her transition shade was the Morphe M441 and then this brush that I'm using is a little bit smaller and this is the M433. Next I am picking up the black eyeshadow from the Morphe and Jaclyn palette and we're going to start buffing this onto the lash line very slowly, picking up only a small amount of product. The brush I'm using here is the Morphe M507 and I love this because it has a nice small tapered shape so it doesn't pick up too much product. So I like to buff this right on the lash line where we want the darkest pigment and then slowly work this up into the outer corner. So really the key to working with black eyeshadow is to use very small amounts of product. You don't want to load your brush up too much and always blend in small circular motions. Don't blend too crazily or that's where it gets kind of carried away and you can't fix it. So place your brush right where you want the darkest pigment which is usually at the lash line. Then I'm taking more of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm going to start to cut her crease a little bit just so that the lid shade will be a little bit more vibrant and clean looking. This isn't a total must but it is a step that I like to use pretty often. So you can see this will just really create a nice clean crease and also kind of brighten up our lid shade. And then I'm taking the NYX Glitter Glue and we're going to put that all over the lid where we want to put her glitter. This is super important to make sure the glitter stays in place all night and it doesn't fall all over her face. Although you will have a little bit of fallout with application so make sure you do the eyes first when working with a glitter. And the glitter is from the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. It's called Diamonds for Breakfast. It's the most beautiful glitter. It has a little bit of silver and gold in it. And I do like to use my finger to apply this because my finger was already a little bit tacky from the glitter glue. And I just feel like your fingers are sometimes your best tool. So we're just going to pack that all over the lid and then I'm going back into Pooter to buff out the edges a little bit. And then I like to take a makeup wipe to remove any glitter or fallout from the eyeshadows and you can also use this to clean up the edges of the eyeshadow. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and we're going to start working this into the skin. I like to apply it with a brush first and then I buff it into the skin using my damp Real Technique sponge. That's just how I like to apply it. I feel like I'm able to preserve more product because when you apply straight from the sponge it does soak up some product so by using a brush first you're able to get the product on the skin and then just use the sponge to buff it out 
And you can see here that her neck and chest are quite a bit lighter than like her arms. So I'm really trying to match her skin to her arms and then we can warm up the neck and chest with bronzer. Also, she has those adorable freckles, which I love freckles and I'm really not one to try and like cover the freckles completely. Most people who have freckles love them and want them to show through. So that's why I love this foundation is it isn't too heavy of coverage that it covers all of her cute little freckles, but it does even out her skin tone. To conceal, I'm going back into the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to be using two shades. First, I'm taking a deeper shade that will help cover that purpley undertone under her eyes. And then we'll go on top of that with a brighter shade. And again, I do like to apply this with a brush and then blend it out with my sponge. And I do this under the eyes, around the nose, center of the chin, and a little bit in between the brows. To warm up the skin and create some dimension, I'm using the Mascara Beauty Bella Cream Bronzer and I'm just going to stipple this into the hairline and then through the cheekbones and then we will put this on her neck and chest a little bit to make it more even. And I love this brush from the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz Collection to apply it. To set her under eyes, I am first stippling out any creases that have settled because we don't want to set those creases in place. And then I'm going in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. So I didn't set the rest of the face yet because I'm going to go in with one more cream product. This is the Mascara Beauty Lip and Cheek in the color Hollywood. And I just like to stipple that on the cheekbone with this e.l.f. stippling brush. And then we will go ahead and set everything with powder. Now I'm just dusting the face lightly with some powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light. And I'm using another e.l.f. brush. I think this is the pointed powder brush. And I just like to do a light even layer so that all the products last all day. Going back to the eyes, I'm first applying our transition shade all along the lash line. And then I will go back into that Pooter shade from the Jaclyn and Morphe palette as well, just to deepen it up. And then we will apply some eyeliner and kind of smoke it out. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe pencil brush. The eyeliner that I'm using is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Love. And these are from Ulta. I absolutely love these eye pencils. They last so long and they're super pigmented, very creamy. Um, I love the black one as well as a nude one that they have that I use all the time. 
And I first run this in her lash line, like right inside the waterline, and I kind of almost smudge it in between the lashes as well. That way we can kind of smudge it and blend it out to make it look a little bit more smoky. So now I'm using the Morphe M432, which is a flat definer brush, and we're just going to smudge that liner just below the lash line from inner to outer corner to help kind of open the eye back up. If you put liner just inside the waterline, then you tend to kind of close off the eye. But if you use the liner and the eyeshadows to kind of smudge it below the lash line, it does help open the eye back up. Next, I'm taking some more of that pooter shade to kind of buff out that lower lash line, and I am bringing it up to the corner of the eye to help kind of connect it all. So we are going to be doing a wing for today's look. So I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner. This one's really awesome. It lasts all day long. It's easy to work with. And I'm just using an angled brush to do this. And I pretty much just go straight from the corner of the eye and kind of follow along that shape that the eye eyeshadow already has. For her inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm using the LC Jewel in the shade Pearl. This is my favorite inner corner highlight. It's so intense. Um, and I'm using another Morphe brush. I promise I'm not like sponsored by Morphe or anything, you guys. I just love their brushes. They're a great price and really good quality. So now to set the cream bronzer, I'm going back into our powder bronzer. It's the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and we're just going to stipple this everywhere we put that cream to keep it in place. And then we're going to do the same thing for the cheeks. I'm applying some powder blush, and we're using the Milani Luminoso. And this is, again, just going to make everything more intense so they show up in photos and help everything last longer. And then I do set the face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I usually set the face a few times during the makeup. And then I'm applying a little bit of mascara, and we're going to use the Ardell Faux Minx in 817. And then I'm just lining the lips a little bit with NYX Natural, and we do apply some lipstick, but I lost my clip of that. I don't know if it stopped recording or what, but we did use MAC Blankety for her lip color. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, and we're just going to put this all over the high points of the face, like the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow. And then lastly, I am spraying the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist all over her neck and chest to give a little extra glow. And then that is the completed look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and check the description bar for any products I used. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.